What's up guys, Kurt here, welcome back to Minute Watch, and this is the Qtimex Reissue Digital LCA. LCA stands for Liquid Crystal Analog. And when I saw it on an ad, I knew I just had to get it. I've had it for about a month now, and I refuse to make a video about it until I've had it for a while. Until I got a really good feel for it, I didn't have to be one of the first people to review this watch. Uh, even though I could have, it, 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 it just didn't feel right. I didn't want to rush it. And I, I think I'm just going to do that from now on. I don't want to, I don't like to rush things. Rushing things makes me feel weird. So Timex decided to recreate this watch, even down to the single light bulb for the backlight instead of in the glow because purity. They've also added this gold turn, turn, this gold tone version, the gold turned, this gold tone version instead of the silver, uh, because not purity, but gold tone, yo. And obviously, it is the one I got. Again, there is a silver one as well. And uh, uh, it is the one that spoke to me. And it's, hey, Mr. 80s, take off that friendship bracelet. Stop listening to a groovy kind of love for a bit and get this here groovy kind of watch. The price might be bad medicine, but with that beautiful, with that beautiful display, with those digital hands to heaven, it's simply irresistible. Uh, okay, I'm going to cause some shattered dreams and end those puns. Ugh, I get so emotional with this sweet child of mine. Anyway, let's get to the greedy greedy. This is a digital watch. It tells the time, and it does so very well. I have no idea how accurate it is, as Timex does not display that information on their website nor within the booklet that comes with the watch or on the online manual. They don't really need to. It's a freaking Timex Digital Quartz. It's going to be more accurate than pretty much any mechanical watch in the universe. It is powered by a CR2412 lithium battery which is low cost and quite easy to come by. I would imagine that it would be quite easy to change as there is a typical, typical, a typical fulcrum point right there, a typical fulcrum point and on the back of the, of the case as a result of this. And because of the button situation, this watch isn't very resistant to fruit punch and you know water and other stuff it has a water resistance rating of 30 meters which is which means you can only get it splashy splashy once in a while uh, like when you're washing your hands uh, or maybe when you're washing your car or watering your yard or something but never never get it fully submerged i would not do that oh and never press the buttons when it is submerged or wet you will you will let the water in and it will ruin this watch the glass is mineral crystal and tapping it makes me feel like it's a lot thicker than I had anticipated, but it is still, it's still not that thick. In, insert joke here, guys. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Or, um, yeah, it's, it's still not that thick, but it's thicker than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> uh, the display is, in my opinion, both cluttered and a minimalist at the same time. It's, it's clutteralist. <laughs> You know what I mean, right? There's a lot going on here, but at the same time, there just isn't. Like my brain. But I do love it. I do think it's pretty cool. The digital analog portion of the display just makes me happy. You know, I don't know why. It just does. It makes me feel like everything's going to be okay. It is completely unnecessary. Well, I'm not going to say completely unnecessary. There are functions. Uh, but that's besides the point. It is there, and I love it. I don't love the $149 price, but it's hip to be square, so I got it. Uh, the brushed and polished case is stainless steel with the gold uh, gold tone covering, the, probably probably an IP covering. And uh, the bracelet is also stainless steel with gold tone, and it is adjustable on the fly, which makes me very happy. You don't have to take anything apart. You just kind of just just pop this thing open slidey slidey and adjust it for your wristical parameters all right functions the functions include a stopwatch here we got the full stopwatch right here uh a stopwatch for your stop watching needs i do not know how to do the thing how do you do that oh there you go you press the, the, the select button and it begins its journey into stop watch them and then stop it like this and then reset it okay next you're going to have uh 
what's the next one? Dual time. You can set this time for another time zone as well as your regular time. As, as you can see, I have it set for 24 hour time, so you can totally do that. The next function is an alarm. There is an alarm function for waking up and stuff. And there is a timer for uh, countdown timer for making sure you get to 88 miles per hour just in the nick of time. So there's a there's quite a few uh, features here. It's not a feature free watch. It's a, it's a, it's a good standard features in this watch. It's, it's a usable friggin watch. Uh, the bracelet also obviously has hollow links, as you can see there, the hollow links, and it is pretty thin. But I really like it. I, I did. A, I think they did a good job. I love the way it shimmery shimmers like that. Look at that. Oh yeah. Ah oh, yeah. It is just very shimmery in overhead lighting. Yeah, look at that. It's it's pretty cool. I like this gold color. It's not too gaudy gold. It's not that super fake i look at me i have a fake watch gold you know um i i rarely like to get gold colored watches because it's not really gold but this one's not bad this one is this one is not too gaudy uh, the the center uh the case the display area on here the i guess what do you call that what would what would the, the what would you call this guys what do we call that i don't know whatever it's called it's a little bit too yellowy for my tastes i don't know uh, maybe a slightly lighter shade would have been better. I'm not sure. Maybe or, or maybe darker. I I don't know, but it's still pretty. It's still pretty cool. Um, yeah. Now let's get to the measurements, guys. The case I got 32.6 millimeters, and you hear this cat dying in the background. Hmm? You hear the cat dying? That's my cat. She just makes this terrible i'm dying noise but she's not dying she's not dying okay guys let's check out the measurements here the case i got 32.6 millimeters lug to lug 40.5 millimeters lug width 20 millimeters and yes i'm going to try and put some straps on it thickness 8.7 millimeters the shiny tomato of justice from my garden 57 millimeters and now let's try to put it on my wristicle situation just so you know what it looks like on my wrist look at the watch tan uh, right there put it on my wrist See, I've already got its size. Snappy snap in place. Oh, didn't snap as good as I, I thought I'd snapped. You gotta make sure you snap good. A good snap is a good snap. And there you go, good snap. Right on my wrist, boom, there it is. Looking mighty fine, if I do say. Let's just get it over the watch tan there. There you go. Looking mighty fine, if I do say so myself. Let's just get that shimmery roll right there yeah, look at that oh it's like a it's like a neon sign it just keeps going it's just it's just crawling along there brrr, brrr, brrr. yeah that was me purring so what do you think about it on my wrist and uh let's check the check the bulb check the bulb let's check the, uh, 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 check check the bulb check the bulb press the button check the bulb frick, frick. Uh, what, 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 how come we didn't record this it, it like, what, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> Check the bulb. P make it light, freaking bulb. What the hell? What the hell, dude? What, what, why did we record this uh, be, 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 uh, 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 earlier? Earlier? What? What? Nothing. Nobody. Yeah, this is pretty much it, guys. This is the bulb. It's not very. It's not very bright. <laughs> It is not very bright indeed. Like you can see shit, but like it's just like not very bright. It's, it's blue. It's almost a blue light. Well, it's white, but it, got, it has a blue hue to it. Um, yeah, that's it. So when I first saw this watch, I just like I had to get it. I was just like, damn, I need, I need it uh, because it's from the '80s, yo, and I, and so am I. And I'm I'm an '80s kid. And I just saw this, and it just makes me happy. Things from the '80s make me happy, and I just had to check it out. And now that I have it freaking love it it is so cool and if you don't understand why i think so then that's cool everyone's different but i freaking love it thanks for that mr tv my tv just turned off anyway um and that's what it's all about it's about what you love and what makes you feel good and never mind everybody else um ironically i'm most likely not going to keep this watch as i have told my friend Alyssa. shout out Alyssa. That I'd sell it to her after I made some videos about it. But if she doesn't want the watch, then I am definitely, definitely keeping this watch. Okay, let's see what the boys have to say about it.
So, like, should we actually have made, like, a Check the Bulb song? Guys, guys, should we make a Check the Bulb song? Yeah, I think the audience, Kurt, would like the Check the Bulb song. Like, the Check the Doob song. But Check the Bulb song. Check the Bulb. Make it light. Check the Bulb. Freaking Bulb. Press the buttons. Make them light. Check the ball. No, yeah, we could, we, no, yeah, no, no, yeah. The audience, no, yeah, we gotta do that. We gotta do that. We totally gotta do that. Everybody in the freaking comment section, if you want to check the bulb song, let us know. Okay. Anyway, Kurt, uh, I think the watch is all you. You are a nerd. And you are, uh, 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 uh also, a uh, uh, a dark. Uh, a dark. Uh, uh, yes, and this watch is just you. It per it's perfect for you. You're from the 80s. You're 197 years old, just like me. And uh, it, it just matches you. I, 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 I see on your face when you wear it. You're like, yeah, this is pretty cool. <laughs> it's like when I get the laptop out by myself. <laughs> you still talking about that laptop? Well, you guys going to leave me alone, right? Nah, you coming with us. Okay. <laughs> well, Ted, what do you think about the watch? Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's uh, expensive. Yeah, I, I feel like it's expensive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what he said. Yeah, yeah, you know, and and it's like some people will be like, "Look at that watch, it's pretty cool." But one hundred and forty-nine dollars, yo, you gotta be out your damn mind. You out, you out your damn mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah when I saw the price, I was like, "Yeah, nobody can buy this watch, but everybody is." Yeah, everybody's stupid, including you, Kurt. Yeah, well, it'd be like it is. Anyway, folks, um, yeah, we are, uh, we are, uh. On a mission in about a month, we're gonna film the rest of the movie. It's gonna be really tight. Um, trying to find sponsors maybe for the video because I'm kind of struggling, but not that struggling. I don't know why I said that. I can eat, but if anybody wants to help out, let me know. Uh, what else have we got? We got some stuff to talk about. Oh yeah, we you, we need uh, 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 that Zachary Morris guy to send us an email at uh, minutewatch at, at gmail dot com. Gmail dot com. That's what I said. Gmail dot com. <laughs> idiot. Anyway, yeah, Zach Morris, uh, please send us an email at uh, minutewatch at gmail.com. And uh, in the next video, I think I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing, Ted? I'm hungry. Okay, anyway, in the next video, I think we're going to give away that Zelos watch. So uh, stay tuned for that next video. And uh, may your peanut be happy. And thanks for watching. Yeah.